Welcome to DOS Geek. So this is footage from the HS270 Holy Stone drone. I just am so in love with this thing. I wanted to show some of the footage first. Now, keep in mind, this is a semi-budget drone, especially compared to some of the options out there that are five, six hundred, a thousand dollars or more. I picked this up for about 180 bucks, which is just a steal considering what you get with this. Now I've had the DJI Phantom drones. I've had some of the drones that do not have GPS. And at least for me, maybe if you're racing drones or something else, you don't want GPS, I don't know. But generally the cheaper drones you find for a hundred bucks, maybe 150 bucks, they don't have GPS built into them. And that means they're very difficult to fly. They don't hover well, they don't stand still, the wind blows them everywhere. That's what I was kind of expecting with this entry level Polystone drone and what I got was something completely different. I love this thing. The features on it are fantastic. They try to put all the major features that you get in the bigger drones, the ones you spend four or $500 on, but they packed it all into a $180 package and it's foldable. I'm gonna show you the unboxing of it. We're gonna go through the specs. We're gonna talk all about this thing, but I wanna start out with the footage. Now, obviously this is not professional camera quality and I'm not a professional pilot to begin with. There is tilt, so you'll see sometimes that the blades you can see there up in the corners are spinning. You can tilt the camera down. If I was thinking about it more while I was flying it, I would have tilted it down at this point, but reality is I'm so new at flying drones in this caliber that I was just more excited that I didn't crash it into anything. I have crashed this thing twice though when I first got it because I didn't do the calibrations that we'll talk about here in a second. And I crashed it into a bush. I've crashed it into the basketball court and it has survived. It also comes with replaceable blades I didn't have to use, but those are an option as well. It's just a really cool device. And again, this isn't the greatest camera, but it does have a gimbal. It is relatively stable and you have to keep in mind the price point here for what you're getting. I've just had so much fun flying this compared to the five or $600 Phantoms because of the fact that if I crash it, I'm not out $500. Now $180 is nothing to uh, just throw out into the garbage either. It's still a lot of money, but it's, if it did break, I would be heartbroken, but I wouldn't be, you know, broke. And so that's why to me, this is just such a more comfortable price point to have a drone at in order to enjoy it. I'm gonna show you some of the footage around the neighborhood. This is Georgia area. So if you've never seen Georgia before, well, this is one little tiny part of it. Lots of trees, that's Georgia. Lots of trees, some mountains uh, out there in the distance, but otherwise pretty plain. You can see we've had tons of rain and all the drains are just full of water around here because we've had nonstop rain, which when being in quarantine and it raining outside is pretty, it's pretty annoying. So here is my daughter and she is playing with her power wheel. The power wheel has broken down as you can see, it's run out of battery power. This is a great life lesson for her because if she doesn't get a good job when she grows up, that's the kind of experience she's gonna have with her car. She will be pushing it down the road until somebody stops and helps or uh, she calls dad to come and get her because I'm not buying an expensive car. So I felt like I could put down the drone and help her there, but I was like, nah. And then big brother comes and he just crashes into her because that's his way of showing dominance in which she now throws some kicks at his car. He slowly backs up realizing he should not continue to pursue this level of behavior because she will whoop him. She will seriously whoop them. So this has some really cool qualities we're about to go through here, like follow me option, which does not seem to work very well, or I can't get that feature to work well, but the draw on a map and have it go to different places works really well. The auto liftoff works really well. And what you're seeing here is auto landing. So it's landing itself. I just pushed a button on the phone and boom, it's gonna land itself automatically into all of my great crabgrass that I have here and shut itself off, and it was within three feet of where it took off, so it automatically returns home. That's one of the great features of the GPS part of this. So there's a little bit of footage to kind of get your taste buds wet for what we're looking at here. So here is the Holy Stone HS270, advanced portable GPS, 2.7K camera. 
you can see that that camera it says 2.7K, but the glass, as Wendy would say, isn't so good. If you're not, by the way, subscribed to Hardware Addicts Podcast, you need to. It's amazing. I'm a little biased because I'm a part of it, but we've got other great hosts on there as well. Check out Hardware Addicts, where I'll be talking about this drone as well on there. So you can see you've got the option to kind of pick a flight path and it will automatically go there. You can see it's foldable and unfoldable. Folded, it's 7.68 by 4.10 by 3.15 inches. It's really small. Can't quite put it in your pocket. You could easily throw it in your luggage and fly it anywhere, which is really fun. You have the first person view transmission range to 1300 feet. This does have a bunch of features that I haven't even unlocked or played with. I've left it in beginner mode and I probably will eventually take it out and see how far I can, you know, let it go off before it loses its connection. But for right now, I want to enjoy it before I let it run off into Never Never Land and never get it back. The auto return option is just fantastic that it has. You can see they have a bunch of different options with the HS270, HS100 for Holy Stone. They're a big brand out there on Amazon and they're really well rated, which is why I picked one up because for the price it was on sale and you just couldn't beat it. I just thought the price was fantastic. Now I think it retails for somewhere around $280, something like that is what they say you would pay for it, but I wouldn't pay that for it. So the other cool thing about this is you can order parts for the device. So one of the things that DJI has that is very advantageous is if you wreck it, if you break something, you don't have to go, one of the motors burns out, you don't have to go and buy a whole new drone. You can buy different parts for it. And I love that they have the parts out here for you to buy. The warranty is not very good. You get 30 days from the date of purchase. I mean, look, they're trying to warranty something. You fly hundreds of feet in the air and could come crashing down and people run them into their basketball courts because they're morons and don't read the instructions on how you're supposed to pilot it and calibrate it correctly. I don't know who those people are, but I'm sure they're out there. So that's probably why you only get that kind of a, a small warranty there. But again, I wouldn't buy it from their site. Overpriced from what I'm seeing out there on the market where they're much more reasonable in the price range here. So now let's take a look at the unboxing. So the Holy Stone HS270 GPS folding drone. So you fold the wings in and out, which is a nice touch. Never had the foldable version before, but they're very popular right now. You've got the point of interest where you can fly it in different paths. You have the, uh, well, that's the waypoint. The point of interest, I have no idea what that feature is because I didn't read the manual but assume that it does something really cool there. You've got the active track, that's where it's supposed to follow you. Again, I couldn't really get that to work. It would follow the remote, but not the picture mode where it's supposed to follow you with the camera, where you put somebody in frame and then it follows them. It, it didn't seem to detect anybody there. It would just kind of sit there and uh, look dumb. So you've got a pretty plain box here, which is fine, because who cares about a box? But inside, they pack a nice bunch of features here for you. You get your nice remote control, you get your extra propellers. Of course, you're gonna need those if you fly like me. And I love that they included that and don't make me go out there and just buy them and they're screw on. So you could screw a little screwdriver, screw them on, screw them off. You got a nice little manual here, which I'm not even joking, my dog ate. It's not like a college thing where I'm like the dog ate my homework. No, this manual right here, this is the last time anybody ever seen this thing. Now it is back in nature somewhere where the dog in the backyard anyways, it's not important. There is the remote control, which is really nice because it folds up nice and compact as well. It's got a rechargeable battery in it. You've got a bunch of different features on here like the return home function. You got the emergency shutoff. You have the angle cam angle the camera there on one of the toggle switches on the side. You've got the take pictures, take video buttons right there, which is really nice as well. And then you have some trim features if you notice that the drone isn't quite, you know, if it's floating a little bit to the left or something, you can trim it out. Then it folds out like a nice gaming joystick. So this felt pretty natural for me. You got some antennas and you have your phone holder. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on the device. You're gonna pair it just like you were connecting to a Wi-Fi network, except you're gonna see the Holy Stone HS270 drone there. You connect to it like a Wi-Fi network, and then you open the app and you'll be able to start utilizing it. There are a couple different ways to start it. You can recharge it, rechargeable right there 
standard USB rechargeable. So here is what everybody wants to see, the nice, beautiful drone. This is before I wrecked it three or four times, but hey, it's still gorgeous. It's still gorgeous even after wrecking it. Now it's just a little bit weathered, a couple scratches and things like that. But I can tell you this thing's built really well. It's taken a beating and it keeps on kicking, which for someone like me, that's pretty good. So you see you unfold the rear arms, then you unfold the top arms, and then you kind of do it in reverse when you're putting it up. And this has a nice little battery as well that you will charge up separately from the unit to uh, get it going. So you've got two things to charge. It does not come with the USB charger you plug into a wall. But look how cool this thing looks. I mean, for $180, GPS built in, good GPS signal as well. Really, really impressed with this little device. I've had so much fun with it. I've harassed the neighbors with it. I've, you know, harassed the dog with it. Okay, maybe I didn't harass the dog with it, but I could have. But the neighbors, it's true. That's a true story. The neighbors over there, you see, look how beautiful this thing is in flight. Isn't it awesome? It's just so fun to fly because it's so well controlled. It does in heavy winds have some, you can see the wind was kind of blowing there. And of course, I'm just a terrible pilot, so I can't really tell you that's the part where the wind kind of blew it a little bit to the left or right, but it corrects itself. And that's what the GPS does is it allows it to do that hovering when you stop where it doesn't just keep going because the wind blows and fall into a tree. It kind of starts auto-correcting itself. The wind's blowing high, heavy to the left. It kind of pushes itself to the right to stay in a general vicinity of an area, which helps you. It's got a great braking distance as well, which means when you stop moving it, it doesn't have a huge sway because it's so light and the motors are really powerful for this device. It, it stops pretty quickly. So that will help you when you accidentally push the wrong stick and you meant to, you know, turn the drone 360 degrees and you really, you know, turned it hard left into a tree or something. It'll, it'll hopefully stop before you hit something. But the, the neighbors, when they saw this, they were like, Oh my gosh. And they all went behind the house. They had their kids go behind the house. They, I don't know what they were thinking. We don't know our neighbors very well, but they were just like, it's those government people again, the government with their drone spying on us, trying to find out why we're washing our driveway in the middle of quarantine. I don't know what they were thinking, but anyways, you could see the footage here, different day. Very beautiful. I didn't, uh, you know, know about the camera tilt at this point. So you're going to see a lot of the copters, in, in the film. The dog ate the manual, people. Do not leave the comment below about how I should have read the manual. Look, somebody's house is on fire. So you could hook a bucket to this and maybe go put it out there. No, the house was on fire. They're like burning or stuff and things. But, uh, and, and this couldn't hold a bucket of water. You, you couldn't do that with it. But you probably could come up with some cool contraptions with this. You know, they have release arms and things that people do with these drones. You also have the ability, at least in the app, where you could put on VR glasses and be looking through the drone as you're flying it. I can tell you with all drones, when they go really high in the sky and you try to look up at it, if it's not out in the distance, it makes you dizzy. And so I could see why VR glasses or something like that would be advantageous where this would be your view as you're piloting versus trying to look down at your phone screen. Uh, and you know, with the sun out and everything else, the screen's not always super, super visible there. Just a beautiful drone. I highly recommend this thing. If you've been interested in picking up a drone at any point, check out the Holy Stone HS270. It's an amazing price. This isn't one of those situations where you get what you pay for. You actually get way more than you pay for. Speaking of getting way more for what you pay for, DigitalOcean is sponsoring this channel. In fact, they sponsor the entire Destination Linux network. So if you like Destination Linux podcast that I'm a part of, if you like hardware addicts that I'm a part of, if you like Jason Evangelo, from Forbes, Linux for everyone. If you like DLN Extend, then if you support DigitalOcean by going to do.co slash DLN and sign up for their 60 days, $100 credit, you help support the entire network because they sponsored the entire network. That's how cool these people are. DigitalOcean is a cloud host that provides over 2000 cloud agnostic open source guides for setting up servers out there on the cloud. If you're interested in learning Linux, if you're interested in having servers out there that you control, setting up WordPress websites, the whole gamut, you get their world-class customer service included. 
and you can have droplets for as little as $5 a month. That's it. So you sign up here, you get $100, 60 day credit, figure out what servers you wanna drop, let them know that we sent you there by going to do.co slash DLN. I love these people, DigitalOcean is amazing. So back to the Holly Stone drone, Holy Stone, I keep calling it Holly Stone, Holy Stone drone. Let me know in the comments what you think about this drone. I've fallen in love with it. I think it's such a great value, but maybe there are other little gems hidden out there in the drone community like this. If you have one, let me know in the comments below what your favorite drone is, or if you're considering picking one of these up. I just love this little device when you're in quarantine. Hey, you can fly the drone around to see things even if you're staying inside, which makes it a pretty cool toy to order right now. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Subscribe! Give a big thumbs up if you like this video.